Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Let's use fast travel to get ourselves into geothermal power plant in order to find the first book. Of course, it, oh, it threw me outside. Oh, really? Is there really nothing I can use to... Oh, I think I can hack it to oh, keep it open. Design security fences, thank you. There are security logs, inaccessible, in keeping with spaces, choice, company, policy. All security logs have been terminated in the event of major emergency, catastrophic event or security breach. Attention! Scheduled security updates at this personal choice facility are critically overdue. Your last scheduled security update occurred on error date not found. If you are a member of the Space of Choice security detail assigned to this location, please turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do so may result in an immediate reprimand. Wait, no, it's open and it's empty. Okay. And we're going back inside. Yep, damn it, we just got out of here. <sighs> Why couldn't you see Thomas earlier? Thomas? I think it was Thomas. Not sure though. Okay, where's the book? What? Okay, this is the other one. Somewhere down there. Even further down, okay. Okay, okay, I'm following. Wait, what? Oh no, I think, yeah, I saw this. Um, it may be the place where the, we found the guy, yeah, it's there. Pretty sure. Gonna find it just where he was hiding. Or maybe he's hanging to it? No. That's why I didn't see it. I'll leave. No, I'll attack it. Give me that. Okay, now. For the other one. No. Nope, 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 uh, region. You can't fast reference. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'll get out of here first. Shame. It's really shame. I know it's my fault that I didn't see it earlier. Don't get me wrong. I just wanted to chase it a bit. Maybe I'll get back. Wait, I'm pretty sure I'm lost again. Ah! Wait, have I been in there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, see, everything's blocked. But that's open. Okay, let's just um, jump. He up here. Wait. For the sake of myself, if I ever have to get back here. No, that's unlocked. And we are nearly out of here. Great. Wait. Wait, what? It shows me somewhere there. Oh, there's another way out. Okay, okay, I see it. Okay, I get it. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I opened the gate to so something. I changed your stuff to it so you attack your other robots. God damn it. Why it doesn't work? That's the last of 
Really? Can I teleport now? Thank you. Yes. What the hell? Why did they kill each other? I wanna check this revolver. Whoa! Nice! I like this weapon. Come on! Really? Happy? Come here! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Then thank you. That's all. All right. Oh, we've been here already. It's upstairs, right? Yep. So I guess they appeared just now, so it wasn't my fault. I didn't find it earlier, I think. Okay, can I teleport from here? Of course not. Ah. Okay, let's get out of here. I will turn in all my quests in town. As well. I... Ah. Come on, load up. Thank you. Yes, I will fast travel to Edgewater. Right, where the hell am I supposed to go now? Somewhere there. Is it not only block blocked off? No, it's not. Good. Oh, it's in the it's in the cannery. Right, where her father worked. Somewhere up, I have no idea where. Oh, there's lots of people around here. Oh. Did you get it? <laughs> it's on the other side of the wall. Hello, beautiful. Ah. Uh. Welcome, Phyllis Granger. Phyllis, owing, owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I have sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contag contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Space Air Choice family who fell ill to the plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medical to any other worker. We're all in this together. Password guide. Bye, pass. Okay. Theodore bur buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our cartel lies? Sounds fair to me. We asked to prepare was asked to prepare a statement of or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. They didn't, don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work, show up, wear a smile, and you'll get your medical privileges. It's a start. Oh, well, of course. I don't want to steal when she's around. I hope there's another quarter around here. Yep, there is. Oh, so that so much nice stuff. Mm -hmm. From the office of Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of, our, all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best thing you can you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit, physical illness, recapitul recapitulates spiritual weakness. No. 
of here, please. Okay, can I? No, I still need some th things to do in the town. Mm, just where the hell is? The okay, is the way out? Now let's check other quests. The long tomorrow. Yeah. I don't think I want to sell her. Well, it's a whole case of medicine. Don't really trust you. Okay, fine. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you said you've got the medicine. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Okay. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. It's not that simple. Well, wait. Never <laughs> that harsh. At least leave me something to remember you by. Okay, you have some cheek on you. Thanks. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Who are you going to give that medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay. Well, they should be then. Okay, what else? Die robot. Which means we have to go around there. Yep. That seems right, I think, or not. That's totally not right. Damn, that's harsh. Oh, wait, we can go see the... The guy. Viker. Let's call him the icon. The icon. It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, street lights and faces glow. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I made the right decision. There's little point in second guessing now. I know. Take comfort in the fact that your choices are always, ultimately, in line with the grand plan. Oh, what's up? Uh, wait, what? Okay. I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Mm, maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Of course. Isn't your job to raise that? Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. I just wanted to... Oh, I mean, did you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. <laughs> it's wrong of me to succumb to distress. This place could be so much more. And I will continue in my quest to make it so. Speaking of quests, God damn it. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. I forgot to take that stuff. Oh, okay, uh, what your religion was all about? The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Mm hmm. What does the OSI stand for? The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as Scientism to the layperson. Okay. How do you talk to this grand architect? You don't talk to the grand architect. 
Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Okay. <laughs> Pretty, so what's your part in all of this? We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. Okay. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. That seems unlikely. <laughs> I would love to discuss the finer points of my religion with you. Oh wait, no I wouldn't. Seriously though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. I just thought of something else. I need a way to make Bye. And I just remembered that I didn't find the stuff I was looking for for him. So there's that. We'll do that before we speak to Adelaide. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Oh, Ludwig! Okay. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. You mentioned a logic module, I found one. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical horde. Good luck. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. Yes. Well, here's a couple bits for your trouble. Thank and you. Something to remember me by. Take care. Did you want to talk about something? Something you need? I'm asking you that because you start talking all of a sudden. Ooh, like that. That's better. <laughs> Give me that. This is certainly better than what I have. Nothing better here though. Okay. And right, journal, the, f the illustrated manual. Hey, somewhere there. So let's go to the geothermal power plant and then we'll run, run to find the book. Wherever it is. Somewhere. Oh, it's in the cave, right? It's in the flooded cave. And there's some marauders. Maybe something interesting. Where is he? Okay. No, you don't. Nope. Good job. It's not that I didn't believe in you. Yeah. There's nothing on him. Maybe there's something around here. Transport wreckage. No, no, no. Yeah, that's all. Oh, there is something. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. And that's all. Really? Me. Okay, and slowly. What the hell is that? That's a mine, okay. What's that? Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Clever. Nice. It's a shame I cannot read the journal myself. Is there anything further in? Plus we have to explore. No, I think it's just a way out of here. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Is there something up there? 
Whoa, there, there, there's definitely something. Oh, God damn it. No, 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 you don't. 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 Okay. No, you don't. Come on. Oh, that's one dead. Okay. Is that all? I hope it is. There's nothing here, okay. Yeah, I don't really expect anything to be around up here. Oh, there's another cave in here. Nice. Do I have a flash flashlight? I'm Kane Van Eyker, special choice ethologist specializing in the fauna of Terra 2. Today I am observing the mighty primal, outstanding ambush predators and highly intelligent. The primals have made the veil especially hazardous. Primals make their homes near caves because of their tendency to use rock as hunting implements. Usually a boulder, which the primal can hurl across a rem remarkable distance with astonishing accuracy. I can only assu assume a primal prefers pulverizing its prey before feeding. In much the same way, I prefer my spare such as salt in a process into a semi-solid paste. I can finally observe primal hunting tactics up close. Exciting times. If only my assistants were here to see this. They are, yet again, late in bringing me my research from my other observation sites, likely they decided to avail themselves avail themselves of the local cantina. That's all I thought I can pick it up. Nothing. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's another so there's something interesting up there. Yeah, it is. Can I get slowly? You can see the whole world from here. Can't summit. Ooh, but not. Oh, jump down there. Of course, I want to get up higher. <laughs> no, okay. It's very pretty though. No, no, no. Ew. Ew. Okay, you know what? Let's get back to the Edward. <laughs> Before I kill myself from jumping too high up. Okay, whoa. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't. Okay, my car. There you go. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Yes, I've got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I. Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. That's your problem. It's a law-forsaken joke, is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want the book to keep others from reading, you just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Mm. Oh, black ridden blackwater, what happened to all your crap about leading your flock? Please, those dolts? Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. 
But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Yes. I can make myself of use to your crew. Hmm. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown up in the party. I wanna kill you. Twenty eight. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Hmm. That all part of your fiction training? Understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Are you even a vicar? Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Yes. Um, <laughs> how would you get assigned to prison duty? Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's the long and short of it. So, what do you think? Can I keep you both in my party? Okay, I don't think you're being completely honest with me about the book. It's the journal of one of the originators of the Philosophist School of Thought, though it would be more than a century before it was perverted into that belief system. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of that came later. Bokonu had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Okay, let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship. Oh, okay. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Okay, and we're gonna leave this part here for now. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.